I spoke to the superintendent here and he says this all started with the results of a survey sent out to parents last year. The parents responded saying that one of their biggest concerns was discipline. However, I spoke to one parent who says she's shocked to hear about this decision. I don't think it's appropriate. You know, there's there's a lot of kids in the school district that don't have parents that use resources the way that they should for their children. Miranda Waltrip has three kids in Cassville schools. She says she was shocked to hear students opted in could be disciplined with a paddle. She says she'd like to see the district try other methods. You know, I feel like if they had a different outlet, like counseling services in school instead of corporal punishment, that would be the more appropriate answer. Waltrip says this policy is a snapshot of the community in Cassville. We live in a really small community where people were raised a certain way and they're kind of blanketed in that fact that they grew up having discipline and SWATs. And so for them, it's like going back to the good old days, but it's not because it's, it's going to do more harm than good. Superintendent Dr. Merrill Johnson says the policy change was an answer to keeping kids in classrooms after parents said suspensions were one of their biggest concerns last school year. The complaints that we have heard from some of our parents is that they don't want their students suspended. They want another option. And so this was just another option that we could use before we get to that point of suspension. Students will only receive the new discipline if parents opt their children in. Dr. Johnson says the paddle-based discipline will only be used as a last resort. Corporal punishment will be used only when other means of discipline have failed and then only in reasonable form when the principal uh, approves it. Dr. Johnson says he doesn't anticipate this punishment being used often, but if a principal does decide that for a student, it will be given by administrators only and in the presence of another certified employee. Parents can opt in or out at any point during the school year. Reporting live in Cassville, Parker Paget, Ozarks First.